Hello, part five, trip to hell. Yeah, and this is where the shit started to hit the fan really bad because uh, things started to turn out really ugly. Because I was talking, I used, like I said, a girl. I was just kind of disappointed. I, so I, 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 I came back to the room to the Tokyo guy. And I basically told him, and we were, he we were kind of, where we were. I suppose we were pretty wasted, both of both. But I was, I think I was. I, I was in the state. I hadn't been drinking, I think, so I was really going really bad after you stop drinking when you have drink for a while uh, when you have drink a lot, you go really, really bad and you become very sensitive and I didn't actually know what kind of drug I took and plus one thing i I forgot to say, I also took these happy pills, and I don't know if like uh, what do you what do you call them? Pro like Prozac. I think it's the Prozac. It's basically the same. And it's a derivative. Derivative. What do you call it? It's it's. And I learned later it's it's actually a kind of a, a mild. Uh, maybe the dimension can explain that better. But at last I heard it, some medical research here, it's uh, actually a mild uh, form of angel dust, like a, a very strong, if I understand this right, a very, like, um, uh, very, very strong speed, maybe, like meta-amphetamine, but even meta meta I don't really know that, but something like that. So adding that, taking that, plus, yeah, so I was really a mess inside, I mean, it was like, and I just went in there and I told him this, and he, and he, on my behalf, and I re didn't really want to stir up anything because I just told him the story, and he went kind of a crazy over it, and he said, oh, that fucking bitch, he started to, like be angry on her on my behalf and I didn't really feel like having a torpedo getting angry at at, um, at her because I didn't want to hurt her or anything I just was a little disappointed I rather gave her the money I mean I'm not but I just feel she wasn't honest uh, that was my point of view but he <laughs> I suppose he maybe had a, had a, um, another point of view at the situation. So he started actually to call <coughs> some guys to order, and I didn't know what it was then, so I, I find out later. He started to call some guys and order a shotgun, actually, on her. And I and I and then I really started to flip out. I mean, is he actually ordering a murder on this girl because of this shit? And I tried to calm him down, but he was really in the mode for revenge or something. But it was a fucked situation. I mean, it wasn't his business anyway, but he started to order a shotgun on, on her. And I this is not uh, so I, I started to flip really and I started to call my friend and I mean I wasn't uh, I didn't I called my friend in Stockholm and I and I I asked him about the this thing, I thought he might, might know know something, 
uh, pro connections and I was really flipping like totally getting totally paranoid I didn't know what to do I was I felt like it was my death sentence really because I didn't want to want anything of this shit and I know this this was really bad karma or whatever you, you might call it I, I couldn't live with myself with this shit on my conscience actually so I tried to stop it and I, and I fought in my psycho this is I like I said before I didn't really know actually if this happened because but it for me it was really real and I fought because she had a room next to us and it was very you can hear people speak through through the walls I can we can hear them speaking and so you could maybe eavesdrop and I was starting paranoid getting paranoid feeling like maybe she's eavesdropping and she hear that he's ordering a, a hit on her and then my mind went totally spin off because then I started to hear her blame shifting she was instead she was starting to order a hit on me to get me killed and blame shift uh, everything you see the mess I, I thought I was in and I tried to stop this thing by calling some friends I thought <laughs> and they were basically laughing at me some but I for me it was a fucking mess I really thought I, I had it Uh, so I just started it was like a rolling thing it got bigger and bigger just the mind starts spinning and just thinking what to do and I was and this guy finally he passed out uh, And I was trying to wake him up and make some phone calls and call it off and, and you know but he was just passed out I tried to lift him up <laughs> and I, then I start I went out to the balcony and I I was really this was fucking worse paranoia and I saw people everything was like they're after me and I saw some people down there uh, from the balcony and they were kind of I thought they were looking at me and I was talking to them like hey there's no problem <laughs> and, <laughs> and I saw people staring at me from other other you know other apartments it was so crazy and and I looked and I saw people watching, like keeping watch for me in the, I couldn't see in the staircase, there were standing people there. And, and, and I looked down in the, in the yard from the balcony, just, just standing people there looking up at me like this, just like, I don't know, like they were just waiting for something. And I got so fucking scared so fucking totally paranoid I didn't know what to do myself and I can hear and I can also hear this girl screaming and about me and I can hear, hear the guys every everything everybody said was against me it's like yeah we're gonna get this guy and all the time the and I was lying in my room hearing this, her screaming and, and, and uh, about like, uh, yeah, now, okay, this uh, next 